know it too, you lose my deal Slow dancing on the Mayor, slow dancing in the burning room, acoustic version. This is based off a YouTube video of a club performance where he showed up at midnight in some bar and played a set, and thankfully somebody recorded it. It's pretty awesome. It's one of the few uh, single guitar versions I've seen of this song. So, first thing you want to do is take a pick, and you're going to stick it between your first and second finger for safekeeping because it starts off with fingers. Uh, if you're like me, try the second and third fingers for safekeeping because I find this frees up the index and thumb. So, it starts off with a lot of this. And then later on we pull the pick out. It's uh, kind of like you start off with snatching chords and a piano type attack and then later on. So uh, if you get really good at swapping in and out, it's there for you when you need it. If uh, you find that difficult, just walk around with this all day once and just all day to do this until you, you get good at it. It'll come. Okay, enough of that. Let's start the song. We'll do the first four measures at performance speed, then we'll slow it down. Okay, remember, we have our pick stowed away for later. So, the whole thing starts with a pickup. That's not even in the first measure. The first measure begins with the bass note on the ninth fret of the sixth string. But these notes are ringing. And then we uh, form a loose chord. And we strum that. And we throw in two random rhythmic timekeeping devices. You can do whatever you want. So these little slides are slides. They're not just descending uh, two note chords, they're actually slid up and you do that by doing a finger substitution. So we start off with this two note chord here with the root on the ninth fret of the fourth string. We end up with this other shape with a fret between it. And we kind of use fingers one and two for this chord shape. When we slide it up, we substitute fingers one and three. And we go backwards. Same thing. You'll find this in songs like uh, Belief. So with this uh, hard slide, hard fast slides out of the way, we hit the low E, and then we get into the second part of it. So that's basically with the thumb on the fifth fret of the sixth string for the root. At the same time, we hit this two note chord with a hammer on. off with adding the sixth uh, fret of the fourth string, our third finger, and the low open E. So from the top slow, and we uh, get back up to that original lick by doing a double pump on the low E. We take that sixth fret on the fourth string and slide it up. And that becomes a higher version of the original lick. The original lick was... Now this one is... It starts over again. This descending uh, two-note chord thing is a bit different. Instead of sliding, we're just double pumping on this uh, low uh, ninth fret. And this lick is a bit different. So we kind of hit the, the uh, fifth fret of the sixth string. And we do this little. And then to cap it all off, the open low E in this kind of chord here. Slap, and then we move into uh, measures, uh, measure five. measures five to eight. Thank you. 
on there is we're doing that F sharp minor chord, striking the root of it with a thumb, and then a big strum. And this particular strum, like many others that are going to follow it, are um, you use your thumb to hit the bass string in a percussive mat fashion. You're not really sounding a note, you're just kind of smacking it while the upper fingers strike the upper notes and sound actual, actual chord notes. This kind of thing. Similar to other songs like... Um, you'll hear a lot of Mayer songs like that where there's a percussive slap involved with some note sounding on the top up here, but not so much up here. So, back to that. That's just like a two note chord hammer on. I'm pretty sure he's playing that. There's these two ladies yakking him up and yelling at him on stage. It's really annoying, but to the best of my ability, this is what he's playing. transition to the A chord with the broom handle grip, but between that we're going to throw in an open low E, and then back to our E chord with the open E. So, and then that um, measure uh, 6, I guess, ends off with this quick, uh, quick little lick up top. Actually, don't do that 9th fret thing with your thumb. I do that sometimes, I should. Slow again. And we're doing a slap there. That's um, just like the first slap. Oops. That slap you hear on the end of that lick is another one of those little timekeeping slaps. So throw them in on uh, some of the beats just to keep time, I guess. Uh, it acts like a snare. So you transition that slap on the uh, ninth fret of the sixth string into a slide down into the thumb of the A. And you're all done, and we're into the singing part next. The first verse encompasses measures 9 to 16, and for the most part, every single one of them is different. But uh, we'll just do a uh, basic structure, and then I'll show you some of the different licks he throws in. So, he starts off with that C-sharp minor chord again. So, we've seen that before, but he throws on this little bass note, da, 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 open, and then ninth fret. And a little lick here into the A and then E. Uh, the very next uh, C sharp minor he does, he throws a little uh, augmentation on there. He throws, he starts uh, with the pinky on the 12th fret of the second string. He throws that on now throughout the tune. Every time he goes up for this chord in this area, he's gonna throw that on. So it gives it a little higher, higher sounding tinge. Uh, let's just look uh, at a bit of those. So he starts off basically with this. The very second pass, he throws on that extra high B, and every one thereafter is up there. But uh, the A and the E are unchanged. So that lick uh, coming up into the. follow the tab for the intricacies of that one. The tab has every single thing that's on the audio, so if you really want to go all out, you can learn every single nuance. But for the most part, the verses are... That's 
pretty much how the verse goes with the fingers. Just before we leave the verse, I just want to stress again these slap things. So that verse being slap, 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 slap. slap. So they occur there. Uh, they're, I kind of do them naturally and I forget about them, but it's important for people starting out to get those in there. They're in the tab. A lot of them are notated with an X on the uh, sixth string to let you know that you're... So again, this is the uh, thumb hitting the low string percussively, and then the fingers striking the, the notes of the chord. Even in the licks, I'll throw them in like that. <laughs> that was an attempt at a slap. <laughs> Pretty cool. Measure 17 to 20 are the first bridge. We're still in finger mode, so it's a bit softer, more subdued than the later one you hear. And it's more or less like this. So slow, that is. So we, uh, we're at the B here, boom handle grip, so thumb on the 7th fret, fingers aligned with the high E sounding, open, really nice chord. We're doing this little hammer on thing on the 2nd string from the 7th uh, fret to the ninth fret with the pinky, more or less like that. Alternating with the thumb a lot. up to the uh, C sharp minor, down to the A, same chord shape as the one up here on the 7th fret, but it's not the 5th fret. There's a bit of a slide up. Back to C sharp minor and F sharp minor. And that is, uh, that's the first bridge. Uh, a couple notes, uh, a variation you can do on that when you hit the A, instead of uh, fingering uh, strings 4, 3, and 2, if you take the second finger and play it open, the bottom two strings of the guitar, with those strings open, you get this. Really nice as opposed to this. That helps with the slide up. put the uh, second string back into action for the hammer on. Also there are uh, slaps here, kind of lightly impolite. Okay. Again, they should be notated in the tab, or after a while you just start to feel where they should be. Again, uh, also in changing between chords, there's a lot of uh, uh, muted strumming, some open chord changes, like... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, accenting them there so you can see them. But you can actually change chords and strum the whole dang guitar open if you're quick enough. Like... Uh, This again is the finger version of the bridge, so it's more subdued. Oops. Later on, when he's got the pick, he really rocks out on it. And uh, that is the first bridge. Measures 21 and 22 are a little mini chorus, so with a recap of measure 20 coming out of the bridge. Coming out of the bridge again, we have measure 21. Measures 
23 and 24 are a bit of an interlude, a reintroduction of the intro, and that's when the pick comes into play. <laughs> slow we start off with that all fingers the pick flips into the index and thumb we do a chopping chord down two rhythmic uh, swipes and then two more a uh, we fret the a with our thumb at the fifth fret and we kind of get ready for this next sequence but we sound that low uh, low a so I'll try to do that slow. Come on off of that. So the tail end of that is... So check the tab on that one for the intricacies. I'll do it really slow all the way through. So pick in its spot. Pick comes out. And that is the first two bars of the interlude. Measures 25 and 26. Here we're doing a slide up into the C sharp minor. And we're strumming it in an interesting way. We're going down, up, down, up. And as we're doing that, we're kind of uh, acting on the different sets of strings, low, da, high. So it's... Uh, after that, we do this interesting little chord. In the actual recording, um, he actually does something else. He slips his pinky off the 12th fret and it kind of falls down on the 11th. It sounds like this. Uh, and uh, I don't like that, so the way I play it, I just leave the pinky on the 12th fret and just take the uh, third string from 11 to 9, so it sounds better to me. So from the top we have that little and then that. After that we have this neat little lick. Uh, so. Back into the A. This is 27 to 34 are the second verse with the pick. Uh, I'm not going to be able to reproduce exactly what he's doing, but I'll just go over it quick so you get the idea. top he does this and what's going on there is he's doing that opening chord and then he's dropping his thumb off and he's sounding the low E and doing this so hammering on from the ninth fret to the 11th fret on the fifth string at the same time as you strum that E and then doing a, a little uh, chord snatch using the higher strings so yeah, note the little um, muted strums to keep on time in between those, so from the top. This part is pretty close, uh, closely the same each time. There's a slight variation. Sometimes he goes... Uh, which is a down, down, up, chuck, chuck, into the E. And the other time is a... Uh, so it's a down, wait, up, down, chuck, and then E. Let's see if I got that right. That's it. Yeah. yeah, so that sounds like it's uh, two chucks. 
you got that one and you got the... I'll just play it through slow so you kind of get what I'm talking about and you can check the tab. It's probably easier than me blabbing. Also, you'll notice near the end of that tune and the high chord, instead of doing two like and just fiddling around a bit, he's actually going and then accenting different beats that he wants. So you're gonna have like 16 strums per measure there. That's the uh, second verse. Measures 35 to 38 are the second bridge, heavily strummed. Um, differs a bit from the first one. First one's softer with the finger. This one's with the pick, slightly. The uh, one major difference is when you're up here in the C sharp minor, it's so it's uh, one, two, three, four, and then to the next chord. And then it starts over again. And then down low. Ends off with two strummies. Uh, and that's the second bridge part. Measures 39 to 40 coming out of the second bridge. I guess you call this the chorus. Ends kind of like that. Uh, this is just for the big solo. So it's kind of. And all you do there is on the fourth string from the ninth fret to the eleventh, do a little hammer on. So. on the low E. So once more time, uh, measures 39-40. And off of that, because uh, then you go in the solo. Measures 41 and 42. We're going to chop the solo into little chunks of two measures at a time. first two measures. So right off we hear a lot of parallel octaves. All you do is uh, you play an octave, skip a string. When you're, uh, the root of these things are on the uh, fourth or third string, you skip two frets in between and then skip a string and you get this. Or uh, when your root of the parallel octave is on the fifth or sixth string, you skip, you, uh, skip a string but you leave one fret in between like this. And uh, they're popular in Wes Montgomery jazz tunes, Eric Johnson. So uh, Mayer is using them here to great effect. The other neat thing he does in this is he's throwing on a bass note. So instead of just hitting the octave, and the parallel octaves you mute everything around them. So you mute, you mute uh, the first string but you're playing the second string. You're muting the third string but you're playing the fourth. You're muting the fifth string and you're playing the uh, sixth that has the bass note. So we're doing this, it's kind of a, kind of a handful. Uh, the bass notes are neat because he includes them and the bass note sounds like this. And then we go to the open A and then the low E. So you'll get this and it'll I'll, uh, play through to show you that. A and E. Very, very cool construction. The other thing to help you play this is you're going to be starting with a downstroke and alternating strums. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 16 per measure. So, slow. So, uh, we started on a down and we ended on an up. One more time, really slow. What's 
what's hard is accenting that open A and muting the low E. So in the second part of that measure, measure 42, we have this. So the first time we're uh, letting, we're trying to let the fifth string ring open and the uh, parallel octave. And the next time we're muting the fifth string, trying to let the low E ring out. And we end with a muted strum. So one more time really slow. So you should end on an upstroke all the time. Measures 43 and 44, continuation of the same thing. So um, let's go through with slow. Do we do some new territory? We do this. One thing to be aware of too, the muted strums, which are usually sometimes involve open. You'll hear that, I'll try to find one. Um, right there we have an open strum, it's in the tab. And then the second part. One, two, three, four, and then the low E. One, two, three. And then uh, this is a double time at the strum at the very end to, to end it off. So, so that one's not 16 strums for measure. The last one there, measure 44, is 17. Let's do it slow one more time. that low E there, but you know where it is. Bars 45 and 46 of the solo. Um, more or less like that. Let's just go through with the slow and make sure we have the ups and the downs in the right spot. So. go to the second bar, uh, second measure, 46, accenting the open A, we have this. Um, so a couple things in that one, uh, you really see him going for the strums in the direction he happens to be in, so there's a lot of accented upstrokes in this one, so I'm back to the first measure, 45. Like that's that's a big one. You see him jerk the arm straight up. They both end with uh, muted kind of strums, double time to get into the next part of the measure. So that second uh, measure, 46, with the open A. So it's down, 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 up, down, down. So if you follow the tab, you kind of get the pattern of how it goes. Um, it's probably easier to do that than listen to what I'm saying. Let's just go through it one more time really slow. And that's that. There's just 47 48 coming out of the solo. goes off time near the end of that so it's hard to stay on beat with it exactly but uh, if you're playing it live I'm sure you would land on your feet and work that out so slow a lot of downstrokes here at the beginning and then into the next measure uh, accenting on the opening This open, you know, nondescript strum. So, one more time. 
So down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, up, down. I reversed the last two. And then into the next one, uh, basically just a... Uh, There's just 49 to 54 coming out solo. There's a little bit of a mistake, I think, uh, when he transitions from the first chord to the second one. I'll just play through it like that and I'll show you what I mean. off at this F sharp minor down here and he actually looks to go up to the B then he realizes you know it shouldn't be here and he slides it up to the uh, C sharp minor still sounds cool when he's on this C sharp minor chord he's very sparse the first two times uh, the B coming back down is busy second time again it's sparse out to the B. Third time up and the last time, it's pretty busy. Uh, and we go B into A. And that's that A where we uh, lift our finger off of the second string, fifth fret, and sound the two bottom notes open. So it's very nice and open. And I believe it ends off with two uh, open strings at the very end before we go into the next section. Bars 55 and 56, the outro chorus, you repeat these five times and they're basically like this. So slow, it's like... Uh, Between the transitions, you kind of have these open, open uh, last two strings. So again, and the last uh, bars 57, you uh, you go let that last for the whole bar, and then bar 58 is, and you're done. <laughs> this was an awesome, awesome rendition. I'm really glad that somebody uh, videoed it. Uh, it's rare that you see this song uh, getting acoustic treatment all by itself with one guitar. So hope you enjoyed it. This was by far the most uh, difficult tab to date. And uh, yeah, it was a pleasure to learn and uh, hopefully teach, uh, teach you guys. <laughs> I so love that you're doing yeah. Get it in, John! Get it in! Like you said, I don't quite yet remember. Get it in John! And I know that you know it too. It's my team. So dancing.